Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Watch the rest of this video as we got a new vehicle in the stable. It's the Traxxas UDR. All right. Hey gang, so this is the new vehicle I added to my list of uh, RCs that I have now. I uh, just picked up a Traxxas uh, UDR. Uh, it's been sold everybody everywhere else that I know of. Um, I've been debating a long time on what to get. Uh, whether it's going to be this Traxxas UDR or um, Arma Mojave, and um, which is pretty new to me, the uh, Losi uh, Super Baja Ray 2.0. So I've been thinking a long time on what to get and I've scratched up enough funds uh, to pick up this UDR. Only because a lot of people are saying that even though it's not the best basher uh, because it'll it probably would break some parts. Um, it's not as durable as the others but it is the most realistic as you do drive and uh, have fun with this. So, um, And it's actually the cheapest of the three. Well actually maybe not. The I think the, the older Mojave because they came out of a new... Tra um, a uh, new uh, Arma Mojave that just came out. I'm not sure what the pricing on that is, but I think the uh, the uh, the current Mojave is um, around 600 bucks. Uh, I was able to pick this up at my local hobby store for about 770 dollars uh, without tax, and I bought a few things, so it came out to about 820 bucks or so, something like that. So I decided to spend about 320 dollars my own money. Uh, I did. Uh, was able to pick up some scratch um, from some raffles and um, cashed out on it so I got 500 in cash from the raffles and I was able to pick this up so um, luckily they did have this at my local hobby shop picked it up and um, currently working on it so as you can see I got parts um, strewed all over uh, this radiator fan I painted the same metallic silver as uh, my Arma engine as you know, I painted my Arma engine this silver metallic. Also on my infraction, the uh, the stacks, velocity stacks that came with the felony. So it's that silver. And um, I got some other parts. So basically it's just the battery cover and the uh, interior piece here. So you're probably wondering why I did that. So this is the reason why. Um, as you know, Traxxas use proprietary plugs, which is their own Traxxas plugs so we have to take this out and solder in uh, EC5 plugs so basically that's what I run with all of my RC's or my larger scale RC's are EC5 plugs because uh, Arma use EC5 in all of their vehicles so that's what I have on my LiPo uh, batteries are LiPo, uh, IC, IC, EC5 or IC5 plugs so we're going to have to uh, do some soldering today and uh, maybe we'll do some uh, video on that. But um, one thing I did notice on working on this UDR is because it's so realistic, it does require taking a lot of screws out just to get to everything. So I think there's just 12, there are 12 screws just to take off the body. Um, six on each side. There's like four on the hood here, two on the side here, one, two, and then there's two on the rear that you got to take out so there's a total of six and then once I got this off let me show here once you get the body off let me put this gently on the side um, just to get to the ESC which is uh, located here just about here like that we had to take out the interior guys these two guys here that was like four screws and then just to get access to that um, I think there's like one here and one on the other side, which isn't too bad. But just to get to the rear screws, you have to take a bunch of screws just to get the cage loose enough so it can reach the, those screws. So I'm learning um, slowly, this is my first time working on this uh, UDR, that there are a lot of screws to take out and it's very time consuming. Um, I'm not going to put it back fully together yet. Uh, I am going to solder this today. and. Um, but I'm waiting for some parts. So, currently, what I did do because I did have some downtime was just paint some of the parts here. So there's like a jack that comes on the back. There's a floor jack. I painted this also the um, uh, silver metallic as well as the uh, jack pole or the jack handle. So I got those painted, and um, I might be painting some other pieces too. Uh, but 
what I think I'm gonna do is if I do paint it, if not now, I probably will paint later is just use like modeling paint, which is a little bit more durable um, and just paint it on with a brush because it'll be too difficult to spray can these parts because it's so intricate. Um, and things that, that I'm thinking of painting are these here, um, which is like a oil oil bin or a bin just to, I guess, hold like uh, cans of oil or spare oil, whatever that might be, um, and some other pieces. I might paint the floor jack again so that the sides like that are blue. So it just gets a little bit more, just a little bit more eye popping. Okay guys, so we just finished uh, installing the EC5 plugs. I was going to make a video of me uh, showing how I solder them, but uh, it took me a little bit longer than uh, I thought it would. Um, soldering the plugs isn't very hard, but what I have a hard time doing and which is a lot of you know, really finicky is seating the EC5 uh, brass into the, um, or the, the metal part into the plug itself. Um, people have been using stuff like um, a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, or maybe like um, a hex uh, driver and a hammer just to seat it in there, but um, it was kind of difficult to get it in there. So what I've been using is like a, a wide mouth pair of pliers. Uh, they're angled like almost 90 degrees or at least, at least 45 degrees and I can expand the, the mouth so I just basically squeeze it in there and that works fine for me, but uh, making the video would have been kind of long and tedious, so I didn't uh, complete the video on that. So this is what I've done. Um, basically everyone's been hot gluing it, so this is my version of what I did to hot glue it. So as you can see there, it's hot glued in there. Um, and the bottom looks like this. Okay, so that's pretty... Yeah, that's not going to go anywhere. That's pretty stiff and um, and solid in there. So next, what we're going to do to finish this off for today, so that we can start running. So running it is um, installing these parts I got in the mail yesterday. So these are some of the parts that a lot of people have been putting on on their um, UDR. Um, as you know, my UDR is brand new, so um, I just wanted to install these parts since uh, I knew I had to put in the EC5 plugs. And there's just so many screws that I just wanted to do the job all at once. So even though I have, um, the first thing is uh, these GPM brake, aluminum brake rollers and the um, hex nut. I do have the Traxxas one, uh, the uh, the aluminum Traxxas hex nut in there already, but you lose the visual of the uh, brake rollers. So I saw this on uh, eBay and I got everything color matched for the body. Everything is in orange. I got these uh, hex nuts and the brake rotor in orange. Also got the uh, Reefs triple four uh, servo. Um, for the price, I thought this is a good buy. I wanted to try Reefs out too, uh, as a, you know, just to try it out as a brand. It's been getting a lot of rave reviews and uh, the triple four would be, uh, I think, good enough for the, um, for the UDR. There's also a triple five, but I think for the price, this was, this will satisfy my needs. Um, there's also a aluminum servo arm and adjustable tie rod that you can get. And I got mine in orange, of course. And lastly, uh, another part that tends to break or is prone to breaking and uh, getting all bust up is the uh, lower trailing arms. So this is aluminum. As you can see, it's a lot sturdier, a lot thicker, and it's aluminum, so um, these won't break. So let's finish up putting on our panels. Uh, we got them painted. I have them all here. Unfortunately, when I had them painted, I put it on the side. Uh, wife was decorating the Christmas tree, so you'll see some marring, or <laughs> some imperfections here. But you know what? Uh, this is going on the UDR. You're going to see some imperfections anyway. So uh, we're, we're just going to mount this as is. And um, we just want to get things back up and going so we can run this. So let's start mounting these up and then hopefully we can mount uh, these back into place. Uh, I was having trouble earlier just trying to match them up. Like it doesn't seem to match up a lot uh, easily. So I painted both sides and that was the whole purpose of painting both sides. But just so that I can get it to match. Cause it seems like it needed to be on one side. I painted the other side and it doesn't match. So. 
we'll have to do some figuring out and see which side which fits where okay guys so just like how this piece doesn't seem to match we'll just do our best so I'm gonna go with this but let's do our best so let's get our tools I got my screw separator here we won't be need this one so we have Mojave we got our, I think it's a two two millimeter one two millimeter uh, driver and we've got some of our screws here Yep, it's these. So let's see if we can match all of our pieces. I'm assuming, I'm almost assuming that this would be the easiest piece to match, but that doesn't fit. I mean, there's only three possible sides you can match it, right? So I'm gonna go with this side first. So let's do this first. Um, so I've been working on two things: getting this Mojave back up and, and running again. I think the only problem I had was initially when I put in my EC5 connectors, um, the connector was loose in there. See, for some reason, why would this not fit? So let's back this out, put it on another hole. It doesn't go there. It has to go like this. Okay, that looks like the best. So. Let's pull this out but again um so again let me just reiterate so i was fixing uh and put on the ec5 plug um it it fit but when i did my trial um plug-in of my battery uh, i ran into the problem where the 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 brass or the metal parts of the of the connector was loose inside the inside the plastic plug so it actually backed out so I just had to hammer it back into place. Uh, we'll see how long that lasts. You know, once you start to plug and unplug the, the uh, battery pack, it's gonna see a lot of wear and tear. So we'll see how it is um, in terms of longevity and durability. So um, they do sell on eBay. Someone is 3D printing up the, um, the mounting uh, plastic that you can buy on eBay. Or he's printing it up and then he's selling it on eBay. So if worse comes to verse, worse, I'll buy that. So that'll be a little bit more sturdier than the um, this, the uh, the hot glue that everyone is doing. Let's see here. Let's see if I am missing the hole or not. I'm trying to look for a better light, guys. And this needs to move to the right, it looks like. Because it seems like these desk, desktop lights, like this one that I have here, doesn't really work really well. I mean, I can position it into place and stuff, but either my eyes are getting bad or <laughs> the light is not sufficient. So uh, I'm kind of thinking that it's both, but let's see. Okay, so we got this one in. So we know this is for the other side. Let's put this on here. This one can only go this way. Like this. That looks to be the right fit. So let's start with our screws. But yeah. Um, also on the downtime, what I was doing was um, reinforcing the body. So you'll see the body that I reinforced. And then in an upcoming video, I'll show you something else that I'm working on. So while this was down, um, as you know, over Thanksgiving, there is Black Friday. So over Black Friday, I picked up something else new. And you'll see that in an upcoming video. And I'm going to be working on that as soon as I'm done with this. So um, we'll show you that. And we just added another vehicle to the stable. So we got a lot of vehicles, guys. Um, I did sell my 3S Sentin. Um, I just haven't been using it. And because I got this UDR and the, the one I just bought, 
I'm able to get rid of the, the uh, Centen S3, uh, 3S. It was pretty much brand new, and I basically just bought a new T-Bone uh, front bumper. So, I mean, that's that was actually in really, really good shape. Um, the new owner was happy to gotten it, and um, I'm glad that uh, he'll be able to make use of it. So, let's see, I think this should be here. that is so um, and I am selling my 4s outcast um, I understand it is one of the best I do have a lot of fun with it but the way that I drive my vehicles um, I really don't seem to care too much for it, um, flipping and doing a lot of tricks I rather have uh, more control and realism than flat-out racing so even though it is uh, better and easier to do tricks, flips, back flips, front flips, um, I would have to worry about it breaking prematurely because I am doing all of that and you do have to spend more care and attention just to make sure it doesn't get damaged. So I figure I just sell that. So so guys, just, just by looking at it, um, it is a, mass, a marked improvement because this steel or aluminum panel does seem to match this I mean granted it doesn't have the um, diamond cut look but in terms of what I was working with and because I already had the material which is this uh, chrome aluminum plate uh, looking um, paint um, it's basically a free mod for me okay so following up on the setting up my UDR um, basically what I did was um, I did all of the um, drywall tape on it, so shoe go and drywall tape seems to be a cleaner look. Um, I know I mentioned that I like doing the um, the screen or the um, the metal screen like you use in your sliding doors and your front door, but um, I thought that might be a little bit more difficult to use on this body because it's so large and some of these parts have um, areas where I need to get into the wells, so. I know using the, the metal screen was a little bit more thicker to get into these parts. I just wanted to make sure everything fits well. So I, I elected to use drywall tape on this instance and um, it worked out pretty good um, as you can see here. So I got drywall tape all in here. Again, the trick is to use thin layers when you're putting it on. Um, not necessarily needing to coat everything at once. So basically when I laid out my tape, I got it to stick. And then I just use um, shoe goo just to keep it in place in areas. And I did that throughout the whole body. And then once I got it into place, uh, then I started to put my thin coats. So I did uh, several coats of this, several thin coats of this, maybe four or five coats, uh, very thin coats just to spread it out. And this is what it looks like. And then I also got the idea, because I know people were buying uh, cargo nets for that effect on the window. And I kind of thought the um, the drywall tape actually has a um, get this off. The drywall actually kind of looks like a cargo net. I was thinking of painting it, but um, the way that I'm putting it on, I don't think it will last. Well, just it might depend on how well you you know take care of it. But um, I didn't want to paint it and go through that extra trouble. I thought it looks kind of okay with just the the original color that it came in. So this is white drywall tape and basically I just put it on, uh, over the window so it looks like a cargo net. So that's what it looks like. So here you go guys. Here's the uh, Traxxas UDR completed for now. So we reinforce the body by putting drywall tape and shugu. Uh, we use drywall tape for the net effect. Um, we got here on our wheels the aluminum uh, GPM. Uh, brake rotors and the aluminum hex nuts to replace the Traxxas aluminum hex nuts that we have. So we don't lose that uh, that uh, effect of the brake rotors and I got them in orange. Uh, we also got ourselves the orange lower trainee trail arms. So uh, instead of having the plastic ones, I did buy again uh, a brand new pair of plastic Traxxas trailing arms, lower trailing arms, but um, want to replace everything with the orange aluminum so we got that in there installed and what else you don't see is the uh, 
the Reefs Triple Four uh, Servo. So, here we go, guys. Enjoy, like, subscribe. Tell me what you think. Uh, it does take a little bit longer to um, to put everything back together again. Uh, you can also see the aluminum that we put in here. So those are the aluminum to protect. It's just for dress up, for that effect of the um, the front wheel well. And then we also did some painting and painted our side panels aluminum color to try and match this here. So I uh, hope you like it. I'm gonna. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have fun with this. I'm gonna install my uh, single six S in here. Um, I do have triple threes. I mean, sorry. I do have dual or two packs of three S's. Most of them are hard packs, and I found out they don't fit. So I'm gonna have to use my um, CHNL G pluses uh, once I get my my plug soldered in for EC fives. Okay, guys. Hope you like it. Um, we'll do some more touch ups as as we can. Uh, we'll paint the uh, the oil bottles cap blue and red here. Um, I already painted the radiator fans aluminum color or silver and also painted the jack here. Painted the jack as well as the handle aluminum color as well as you can see there. But hope you like. Uh, we'll do some bashing as soon as we can. I'm going to post up another video of something else that I bought during Thanksgiving uh, Black Friday from my local hobby shop and I hope you like those too. Alright guys, we'll see you soon. Stay tuned to the channel to watch more. We got more videos coming. Alright guys, Traxxas UDR. Alright.